What is going on? There is a lot of things creatively that you can do with Aftertouch. In this video, we're going to explore practical and useful creative ways to use Aftertouch in your music that will hopefully enhance the way you work. So first, I'd like to invite you to like, share and subscribe to our sampler channel. And second, let's get to this. What is Aftertouch? Aftertouch is a term that describes the ability to use pressure to modulate anything you like. So once you press a key, the harder you press causes your sampler to react. And that reaction can be taken and rooted to a destination. So let's explore a few end destinations that we can creatively control with Aftertouch. What we're going to do now is use Aftertouch to control the variation of an entire beat right on the fly. So here's the sample that we're using. Now what I did not mention is this is only part of the sample. Under this sample, on a second layer in the ASR10 is another sample that's buried and will only present itself through aftertouch. So have a listen to this. Pretty handy. And it's even more interesting once you use a drum machine as a controller to control a sampler that has aftertouch. In a live setting, you can really use this to your advantage because you can use your playing style to do arrangements completely on the fly. And we're just using two layers now. You can use as many layers as you like and configure your sample to present themselves according to your playing style. Really useful. And speaking of layers, Aftertouch is an amazing tool to create and play evolving, meandering type of sounds that you can now create and control and completely influence right there immediately in the moment. Let's take a listen to a patch that I've made. And what you'll hear is as I press the key down, the patch will brighten up and it has a bit of loop start modulation that's also controlled by pressure. So as the keys are pressed harder, you'll hear them start to modulate internally within the layers and start to move spatially. So let's take a listen. I really like creating pads like this because they serve so many purposes and when coupled with the control of aftertouch, it's really easy to make them fit into other pieces of music. Now at the very bare minimum of all things, you can use aftertouch to control the filter of a sample, which is amazing because this is something that you usually have to reach over and use a mod wheel or something else. But with aftertouch, you can use something that's already there without causing any grief. Not to mention, using pressure to control something gives a completely different feel than any other controller. All devices that instigate modulation, like Aftertouch, have their own unique sound to them. Aftertouch has a distinct sound because you're literally pressing down on the keys to have a reaction and it's all up to the way your fingers feel, which finger is applying the pressure, how much pressure, it's completely unique every single time. So if you haven't, look into using Aftertouch in your music and taking full advantage of it. And for curiosity's sake, in the comments below, let me know what instruments you have or know of that have Aftertouch. And of course, there's always the long sought after instruments that have polyphonic Aftertouch. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you liked and learned something today, subscribe to us here on YouTube. I will catch you on the next one. In the meantime, take care of yourself. Peace.